What is up guys, we're here bringing out the brand new episode of Washington Station, the best station for Washington Football Nation. Now today we are obviously going to be talking about our win versus the Philadelphia Eagles, our second sweep of the season. We swept Dallas, we swept Philly, and not also did we sweep Philly, we won a division. So let's go! I mean, first, another thing to be super excited about is, you can tell this looks a little bit different. I'm using my new mic, the uh, Shure SM7B mic, the same mic Michael Jackson used to record his album, Thriller. And it's a bunch of new stuff that I'm uh, getting for my recording, and I'm super excited to show you all in a video um, coming up in the next couple of weeks where I really like uh, take you down the rabbit hole of all the awesome new stuff I got uh, to work with and bring better content to the channel and uh, for everyone who wants to see my videos. So uh, I felt right to rock this hoodie today. It's part of my new Washington football stuff that I got for Christmas. Um, actually excited to wear Washington football stuff. Never thought I'd be saying that, but I am. And um, yeah, it's just a great, great game. Like first off, just want to say, like Ron Rivera said, you don't apologize for winning. You know, they can say what they want to say about the whole Jalen Hurts, Nate Sudfeld. Um, but, you know, they, they weren't playing for anything, and Nate Sudfeld's been around for a while, and they just really want to see what he could do. Um, poor guy had to go up against our defense, but, you know, it's the way it goes. So, I think they learned, and uh, we were like, okay, you want to put him in? That's fine. He just basically – it was a tough game. It was a battle. I wasn't sure if we were going to come out to win. Once I saw Sudfeld come in, I'm like – like Chase Young said, when they asked Chase Young, what did you thought when uh, think Sudfeld came on the field? He said, fresh meat. And I mean, yeah, I mean, this guy who hasn't played a lot, he's not mobile like Jalen. So, yeah, you know, they were going to get after him. And they got after him very, very well. And uh, you can't help but be excited when he came in because you're like, I didn't know if we were going to win this, but we definitely are now. And um, you, I might go heavy in this video talking about how much we beat the Eagles. And that's because, uh, you know, I want to be open about my fandom for Washington. And every, most Washington fans despise Dallas. Uh, and I do too. I despise them. But there's one team I hate more than Dallas, and that's Philly. And you're asking, how do you hate Philly more than Dallas? Well, like I said in Friday's video, it's become a little bit more of a rivalry between us than us and Dallas. And also, opener, I think it was last season or season before last, um, for the opening tailgate which tailgate's fine i know there's trolls at tailgates that's completely fine i'm aware but there's a point where it's taking it too far and putting a coffin in your tailgate section at fedex field putting sean taylor's jersey on it and parading around it and pouring beer on it now i have some friends that are eagles fans and I can say this because they also, like me, despise that group of Philly fans. Some of the Philly fans, diehard Philly fans, and it's widely known, I mean, everybody talks about it around the league. Philly fans are the worst fans. And it's not the team itself that's made me hate the Eagles, it's the fan base. Because that act was so disrespectful. I was so pissed. You had an NBA player that was attending the game come over to your tailgating section and tell you to wrap it up, and they got in his face. I don't know exactly what happened to it. I I feel sorry for the souls who thought putting that was funny or a good idea. Um, whenever somebody says, uh, don't you hate Dallas the worst, and that picture comes to my mind, and I'm like, no, I hate Philly the most. But that's just that's just a little soapbox I just wanted to... Uh, let my audience out there for Washington Station know um, my opinion on the Eagles and uh, how they rank on how much I hate them in the NFC East division teams. But anyway, let's not talk about that. Let's talk about the game. Beautiful game. Um, first half was very – first quarter was absolutely bonkers good. Defense was forcing them to punt. Alex Smith had that beautiful touchdown to Terry McLaurin, and we had that field goal. We had the pick by Cam Curl. It was a game for crazy picks. We had the pick that was like a punt. You had Cam Curl's pick where it like went right through Zach Ertz's hands. It kind of ended up in Cam Curl. And then um, when McKissick bob bobbled it and the guy on the Eagles picked it up when he tackled him, I will give it to him. That was a crazy interception. I'll give that to him. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, you got to give credit where credit's due. I mean, 
you can't ignore sometimes where skill just really shows. Um, Jalen Hurts uh, did better than what the stats the stats showed that he did poor. He really did not do poor. He actually was giving us some trouble. That's for sure. Um, they were pulling some trick plays. One worked. The other ones did not work. Uh, they went for on fourth down. Really stupid. They had a lot of dumb decisions on their part in this game that really helped us into this week. And um, you know we got Gibson recovering, McLaurin recovering. Smith recovered. Smith looked really good in the first half. Second half, you could definitely tell how limited he was. Um, I know Rivera said he thought about it, and I was kind of thinking to myself, I'm like, should we go with Heineke? I'm like, you know, we're up. Let's, cons- let, you know, if he can just keep the ball on the field for just a few minutes at a time, that's all we need. And uh, But Smith finished it out. Smith uh, did very well. He had those two picks. One pick, and neither of them really his fault. He had a good check down, which is his usual thing to J.D. McKissick, and that's on J.D. McKissick on Bob and the ball. And then the second interception was not a bad throw. It was on the on the, on the the mark to uh, Logan Thomas, but Logan fell down, and the linebacker was right there. He was like, I'll take it. So no pick was directly on Alex. And um, so you... You know, the stats, both, for both quarterbacks, the stats sheet doesn't really show how much they did in the game. Um, I think our defense played very well, you know, when they bobbled the snap late in the game. Sweat did a good job just keeping it away from Sudfeld and allowing Chase to go and pick it up. But let's just talk about of all the adversity we've gone through. I, I talked about it Friday, but I had to talk about it now. Well, with the new coach, all these players that wanted out, like Trenton, Quentin, and the controversies from the front office and the old regime with Ron going through cancer treatment, chemo, and beating cancer, and really just all the adversity, Alex Smith coming back from an injury that could have killed him, all this stuff is just powerful and just proves why we deserved it. And for Giants fans out there that are saying we deserved it, win more games. Don't rely on us to lose for you to get in. That's how you deserve it. We deserved it. Because we had the most wins. We had seven wins. Y'all had six. So don't come crying saying y'all deserved it more than we did. We deserved it. We deserve it more than any other NFL team. And now we're in the dance. We got our ticket to the dance. So let's go and fight. And show the NFL that we're not just in here because of our sad division. We're in here because we can compete. I'm going to get more on this Friday when I talk about our game versus Tampa Bay Buccaneers. But... Let's not forget all that we've gone through this season. All the hell. And now we're here. We're in the playoffs, baby. We're in the postseason. I I can't help but be super ecstatically happy. I mean, uh, it's just such a good time to be a Washington fan. I had no clue my first year doing this show I'd be covering a playoff run. But um, nothing makes me happier than covering this and covering this team. You know, this team puts us... Through the ringer every year. Um, this season was no different, but we came out on top. And, you know, this is what makes you have fun being a Washington fan. It's just not necessarily the season, but the promise and the direction our team is going with Ron and these young leaders like Chase and Terry and having Alex there, who may not be at the top level, but he's doing what he can. He's winning us games. He's only lost one game when he started. And that was against the Lions, his first game back as a starter. Which we should have won. So, to be where we are now is absolutely amazing. Uh, I'm so happy. I and mean, I don't really want to talk about the game so much because, you know, it wasn't the most perfect game. And I just want to talk about everything that's going good right now. But, uh, you know, there's some stuff we got to work on. We got to work on getting Alex more, he- get him healthy. Got to get McLaurin healthy. Got to get Gibb healthy. Healthy, because uh, we don't play Sunday, we play Saturday night. So that's, you say, it's only one night. Well, one night makes a lot of difference, especially when you're um, rehabbing some injuries in some very important areas like Alex's calf, Gibson's foot, and Terry's ankle. Because I just had an ankle sprain, and those things, uh, his is much worse than mine was, but I can say they bother you and they linger. You can just turn your ankle one way, and that thing starts hurting for the rest of the day. And you don't want to walk sometimes after it, you know. I'm two months removed from having the injury, and there are times where I still feel it. Um, but he's a fighter, you know, getting out there. He had some, not a whole lot of yards, but many catches and a touchdown. You know, he really showed out. 
Um, Gibson has 75 yards rushing. This team, this team is ready to compete. I believe we can compete. Um, I'll get, like I said, I'll get more into this on Friday. But you know, we we have presented ourselves with this opportunity, so let's not waste it. Let's go out there and fight and compete and show that our identity as a Washington football team can go far. Because in the postseason, it's a whole new season. Everything that's happened before doesn't matter. That seven and nine record doesn't matter. In the postseason, everybody is zero and zero right now. Nobody has a record. So let's go, and let's get, become one and no after this weekend. But like I said, we're getting to that Friday. But I mean, come on, Washington fans, let's celebrate. And I, I know a lot of people feel awkward celebrating after that weird game last night, but just have fun, enjoy it while it lasts. And you know, this is a new culture. And I I, I will say this: um, we all hate one person, Bruce Allen. But there's one thing that he said a couple years ago that I think can be said now. Shouldn't have been said then, but it can be said now. And I will say it as follows. The culture is actually damn good. I know everybody going to hate me for that, but I can't help it. You know, it was a, it's a saying that fits for right now because our culture is really good. So... I hope you all have a great day. Make sure to stay safe. Thank you for watching today's video. Make sure to like if you enjoyed. Make sure to comment down below your thoughts. Make sure to hit that bell button so you're notified every single time up with a brand new episode. Make sure to check out all the links below. Check out the Patreon. Check out the merch store. Check out all the music links. There's some more stuff coming on the way, which I'll talk about Wednesday in my 2021 preview. And, yeah, so I hope you have a great day. I'm a Morris. Let's go Washington football team. Let's go Washington football nation. Let's go into the playoffs and let's fight. Let's compete. Let's show them what we're made of. I'm out.